Select records can be used to choose a precise subset of input records. Firstly, I'll run the workflow because I have prepared the select records tool in advance. We'll analyze each select records tool and observe the before and after data. Note, you don't need to add the record ID tool before the select records tool. In this video tutorial, the reason I added the record ID before the select records tool is to make it easier to showcase the use of the select records tool when we take a precise subset of the input records. Select a single record In this example, I'll select record 20. Click on the input anchor to show you the before data. Click on the output anchor to show you the after data. As we can see, the data results we've selected is the 20th record. Select a range of records. In this example, I will select records from 10 to 15. Click on the input anchor to show you the before data. Click on the output anchor to show you the after data. As we can see, the data results are selecting records from 10 to 15. Select all records beyond a second row. In this example, I will select records 5 and before. Click on the input anchor to show you the before data. Click on the output anchor to show the after data. As you can see, the data results are selecting records 5 and before. Select all records beyond a student row. In this example, I'll select records 20 and after. Click on the input anchor to show you the before data. Click on the output anchor to show you the after data. As you can see, the data results are selecting records 20 and after. Select multiple selections. We can use everything we learned and make a list of multiple selections. In this example, I have used single records, a range of records, and all records beyond a student row. Click on the input anchor to show the before data. Click on the output anchor to show the after data. As we can see, I have selected the fifth record, records from 10 to 13, records before 2, and records after 20.